Hello everyone and welcome to Nautical Academy. In today's video, let us answer one of the common questions I encountered when I started teaching ship stability. And that question is, at what angle of heel does a ship capsize? For us to determine at what angle of heel does ship capsize. First, we need to understand and determine the ship's range of stability and the angle of vanishing stability. When we say range of stability, it refers to the range of angles of heel within which the ship remains stable and can still go back to upright condition without capsizing. The angle of vanishing stability is the angle of heel at which a vessel can no longer go back to upright condition and will capsize. Let us start with the moment of statical stability, commonly known as the riding moment. The riding moment at any angle of heel is the moment that represents the ability of the ship to return to its initial position when healed by external forces, it is expressed in tons meters. Let us assume that the ship is floating in still water, and in an upright condition. For a ship to float, it is acted upon by two vertical forces. A downward gravitational force, which corresponds to the ship's weight, acts through the ship's center of gravity. And the upward buoyancy force, acting through the ship's center of buoyancy. When the ship is healed by some external forces such as wind and waves, the weight force and the buoyancy force get separated. The center of buoyancy moves at the low side from B to B1, while the center of gravity remains at the same position as long as there is no movement of the weight on board. These two equal forces that act through G and B1, produce a couple or moment that will tend the ship to go back to her upright condition or will tend to capsize the ship. In this illustration, when the external forces are removed, it is clear that the ship will return to upright condition due to the forces acting through G and B1. This is the formula used to calculate the riding moment. Where Rm is the riding moment in tons, meters. GZ is the riding lever in meters. And W is the ship's displacement in tons. When the ship is healed, as the two vertical forces get separated, a riding lever or riding arm known as GZ is created. Riding lever is the horizontal distance between the center of gravity, G, and the vertical line of action of the buoyancy force, acting through B1. When a riding lever exists, the moment of statical stability or riding moment also exists. This moment acts on the end of the riding lever or GZ, which pivots about the ship's center of gravity, G, that will bring the ship back to upright condition. As the ship heals further, the riding lever increases until it reaches the maximum value. Let us assume that at this angle of heel, the riding lever reaches its maximum value. As the ship continues to heal further, the riding lever starts to decrease, until it reaches an angle of heel where no more riding lever exists. At this point, if the external forces are removed, she will remain in this condition since no riding lever exists. If the riding lever is zero, then no riding moment that will bring her back to an upright position. The range of angle of heel which starts from zero where the ship is upright until she reaches an angle of heel at which there is no more riding lever is what we call, the range of stability. In this case, let us assume that at an angle heel of 65 degrees, no more riding lever exists, so the range of stability is from zero to 65 degrees. What if the ship is healed further? The buoyancy force acting on the low side of the ship will be transferred to the high side, creating a capsizing lever, instead of a riding lever. Thus, a capsizing moment will exist at the end of the lever, which pivots around the ship's center of gravity or G, which will tend to capsize the ship. This angle of heel where a capsizing moment exists is called the angle of vanishing stability. This is the formula to determine the GZ value at a small angle of heel. And for the large angle of heel, a wall-sided formula is used. Small angle of heel is when the ship is healed at 10 degrees and lesser, others considered it at 15 degrees and lesser. Beyond this angle, 
it is considered a large angle of heel. The writing lever for a specified angle of heel is represented on the curve of statical stability known as the GZ curve, which can be found in the ship stability manual. I will show you how to determine the GZ values at any angle of heel using the KN values tabulated from the ship stability manual, then we will construct the GZ curve to find the range of stability. Since the GZ value is dependent on the ship's KG, and the ship's center of gravity, G, changes its position depending on the ship's loading condition. It is convenient that the position of G will be assumed at the keel to find the GZ value, and the term where G exists at the keel is known as KN. This is the formula to determine the GZ value at any angle of heel. Where KN values can be found in the stability manual on board, and the KG times sine theta, is the correction to KN. Let us go back to the illustration. If we extend this vertical line of buoyancy force downward acting in B1, the horizontal distance from the keel intersecting the dotted line is the KN value. The distance from G to Z is what we need to determine. The horizontal distance from the keel to this point is the correction to KN value. By multiplying the KG by sine angle of heel, we can find the KN correction. To determine the GZ value, subtract the correction to KN from the KN value tabulated from the stability manual. Let us solve this problem. A ship has a final displacement of 27,970 tons, with a fluid kg of 8.810 meters. Calculate the fluid gm, if the km for the final displacement is 9.330 meters. And determine the gz values at small and large angles of heel, using the kn values tabulated from the kn table. Then, construct a gz curve and determine the ship's range of stability, angle of vanishing stability, maximum GZ value, and angle of deck edge immersion. The first step is to find the fluid GM. The KM is 9.330 meters, minus, the fluid KG, which is 8.810 meters, the fluid GM is 0 0.520 meter. Fluid KG must be used in calculating the GZ values since it has corrected from free surfaces due to slack tank. If you are not familiar how to calculate the fluid KG and apply free surface correction due to slack tank. Kindly check the link in the description for this video. Next, we will extract the KN values from the KN table, which can be found in the ship stability manual. The first column in this table is the value of the ship's displacement and the next succeeding column is the KN values at different angles of heel. On board, we can find the ship's displacement in the hydrostatic table. In this hydrostatic table, at a draft of 8.90 meters, the ship's displacement is 27,970 tons, which is given in this problem. The corresponding transverse KM value is 9.33 meters, which is also given in this problem. Let's go back to the KN table. The nearest displacement stated in the table is 28,000. When extracting the KN values, interpolation is necessary for the displacement other than stated in the table. Even though the rate in the change in KN is not linear, the errors caused by interpolation are negligible. But in this video, we will not interpolate, since the difference is only 30 tons. So at a displacement of 28,000 tons, the KN value at an angle of heel of 10 degrees is 1.65 meters. At 20 degrees, 3.31 meters. At 30 degrees, 4.95 meters. At 40 degrees, 6.36 meters. At 60 degrees, 7.93 meters. And at 80 degrees, the KN value is 8.10 meters. Next, we will find the correction to KN at every angle of heel using the formula, KG times angle of heel. The KG is 8.810 meters, multiplied by sine 10 degrees, the correction to KN at 10 degrees is 1.53. Do this procedure for the next succeeding angle of heel. 
The correction to KN at an angle of heel of 20 degrees is 3.01. At 30 degrees, 4.41. At 40 degrees, 5.66. At 60 degrees, 7.63. At 80 degrees, 8.68. To find the GZ value, subtract the correction to KN from the KN value. At 10 degrees angle of heel, the GZ value is 0.12 meter. At 20 degrees, 0.30 meter. At 30 degrees, 0.54 meter. At 40 degrees, 0.70 meter. At 60 degrees, 0.30 meter. And at 80 degrees, negative 0.58 meter. These are the following GZ values needed to construct the GZ curve to determine the range of stability and to find at what angle of heel a ship will capsize. You can use an Excel sheet to construct a GZ curve, but in this video, I will use a PowerPoint. In your PowerPoint, go to Insert. Then click on the chart. A dialog box will pop up. Go down and select XY scatter. On the top, choose scatter with smooth lines and markers. Then click OK. A chart appeared including this Excel sheet. On top, you can choose a design you prefer. Kindly explore how to edit your chart template especially the major and minor grid lines for the accuracy of plotting the necessary values. As you can see in this chart, it shows major and minor grid lines. I just inserted the GEZ value we calculated earlier. In this Excel sheet, in the X values, enter the angle of heel, and for the Y values, enter the GZ values. Always start at zero for X and Y values. At 10 degrees, the GZ value is 0.12 meter. At 20 degrees, 0.30 meter. At 30 degrees, 0.54 meter. At 40 degrees, 0.70 meter. At 60 degrees, 0.30 meter. And at 80 degrees, negative 0.58 meter. This is now the GZ curve. This curve is not as accurate as the curve provided by the shipbuilder shown in the stability booklet, but this is better compared to doing it manually. Let us hide this curve temporarily, and do this step by step following the manual procedure of constructing the GZ curve. Before plotting the points on the chart, draw a vertical line at 57.3 degrees. Along the GZ value, Draw a horizontal line that corresponds to the value of fluid GM which is 0.520 meter. Then, draw a straight line from zero value where the origin of the curve is to be drawn, intersecting the vertical and horizontal lines. The reason why we use 57.3 degrees is because the area requirement must be in meter radian. The GZ value is in meters, and the interval is in degrees. To convert it into a radian, we will divide it by 57.3 degrees, which is equivalent to 1 radian. Next is to plot every point in the chart, starting at an angle of heel of 10 degrees, to the corresponding GZ value which is 0.12 meter. Plot all points until 80 degrees. The trend of the curve until 10 degrees is usually along a straight line, because at small angle of heel, the GZ value and the initial GM have only a slight difference. Now, as the ship heals further to 20 degrees, the GZ value increases. As she heals further to 30 degrees, the writing lever continues to increase. At 40 degrees, the writing lever decreases. Approximately, at an angle of heel of 38 degrees, the ship reaches its maximum riding lever approximately 0.71 meter. The point of inflection, where the curve changes its direction from an upward slope, to a downward slope is the angle of deck edge immersion, approximately 25.5 degrees. 
as the ship heels further to approximately 67.5 degrees. The ship has no more riding lever. If no external forces exist, she will remain in this condition. This angle is the angle of vanishing stability, which is 67.5 degrees. The range of positive stability is from 0 to 67.5 degrees. In this ship's present stability condition, when she is healed at an angle of heel greater than 67.5 degrees, a capsizing lever will be created, causing the ship to heal further, and continue to capsize. That's all for now guys, if you find this video helpful, do not forget to like and share, and if you are new to this channel, do not forget to click the subscribe button, thank you for watching, bye.